May 2011. I listened to a University of Pennsylvania commencement speech by Denzel Washington. In that speech, he talked about the concept of falling forward. He said, always choose to fall forward. Because when you choose to fall forward, at least you get to see what you're falling towards. <laughs> I was inspired. I was still in school on my way to becoming a doctor. But I knew that medicine is not where I would make the biggest difference. I questioned myself every single day whether I should go ahead to become a doctor or do something that I'm passionate about, urban transportation. In fact, I had a great potential business partner. And I was exploring new kind of carbon fiber technology. And I had some recognition from a bike expo in Germany. Yet, I was afraid to take the plunge. To make my dreams come true, it required me to drop out of medical school and leave a very lucrative career behind. It also required to let my brown parents Yes, brown parents down. <laughs> and be their worst nightmare. <laughs> A dropout. How dare I? <laughs> it required me to under loads of school debt without a steady stream of income. It also required to tell my wife to be that I would no longer be a doctor. Good luck. <laughs> but I was passionate, and I knew that I could make a difference in the world of urban transportation. I was living in Toronto, and I hated my transportation experience. I did not like the public transit. I hated waiting in lines for bus or train and then running after and then missing it by a small second. And when driving in a car, I had to worry about paying for gas, parking, and the damn insurance. And even after paying $800 a month, I still had to sit in a steel box stressed, calling names to other drivers on the road, <laughs> cursing government for not adding more lanes, blaming construction workers for blocking those intersections, and finally questioning myself after running that yellow light, am I even a law-abiding citizen? <laughs> there had to be a better way. Why not? start an urban transportation company that can address the future, one that would solve my personal transportation problems. So, I remembered Denzel's quote. I decided to fall forward, drop out of medical school, and start Van Hawks an urban transportation company. Van Hawks, the idea was to build a transportation company by using the simplest of the transportation technologies, a bicycle. How can we make an amazing user experience for urban transportation by using an invention from the 1800s? We all know that bikes are a right of freedom from childhood. They're fast, fun, and easy to ride. How about connecting the bicycle itself, the hardware, with the digital technology available today? What might a high-end 
are a digitally connected bike look like? Can it make the user experience for a commuter better, stress-free, and easier? Those were all the questions that were going through my mind when I launched Van Hawks. Van Hawks is based on a philosophy, and Van stands for origin in Dutch language. Hawk stands for high efficiency, gliding motion, and elegance. So Van Hawks stands for moving you from A to B in the most efficient manner by bringing the bicycle into the age of the internet and inclusive of a user experience which involves the hardware and the software integrated into the writing experience itself. We set out to create user experience which is built on the principles of digital connectivity. Digital connectivity is the future. My generation, the millennials, we are the digital kids. We were born with a smartphone in our hands. When we have to look up a destination, or as a matter of fact, ask anything, we don't go ask dad. We ask our smartphones. OK, Google? We use the smartphone because the user experience is amazing. It's quick, simple, and easy. We use it to check travel, news, weather, call up Uber rides, arrange for a ride share, or look up directions to our destination. It's a platform for us. It's user experience like this which will enable people to take on alternative modes of transport. But the problem is that cities like Toronto heavily depend on cars for urban mobility. But my generation, the millennials, we like to live where the action is, the urban centers where we can walk, take transit, or bike to work. It's just more efficient. But cities like Toronto cannot cope up with the increasing demand in cycling with the infrastructure. Due to lack of infrastructure, pedestrian cyclists are called pedestrians on wheels. And then we have cyclists riding on the sidewalks. Our city is all over the place. The commute is a battlefield. And we have unnecessary casualties on both sides. So it takes a while to change the infrastructure. So what can we do to make urban transportation experience better? We think that it starts with small things which concerns user experience, like naming your bicycle. We call this the valor, because valor means courage to enter the battlefield. <laughs> you can name your bike because it's yours, but this one is mine, and I call it Bat Bike. We also let you change the color of the rims and the frame. The frame is a carbon fiber body, so it's rust free. We don't have a chain on the bike. It's a maintenance and grease free belt drive system. Those big pedals are amazing for all shoe types and sizes. It has a very easy gear shifter where the little man tells you when to go uphill. <laughs> and because user experience matters, we let you talk to us at your fingertip 
we have customer service integrated right within the app. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Let's contact someone at Van Hawks and ask them how to turn the lights on on this bicycle. So let's go ahead and send the message, and hopefully someone replies us back. Um, come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, hey. So the lights are controlled from the Valor tab itself. So we're going to go ahead and thanks them. We're going to exit out of this, and we're going to go inside the Valor tab. And you can see that we can actually control the lights right within the app. Now, that's some of the features that this bike can do for you. But Van Hawk's Valor is built on digital connectivity. The bike is always connected. You can put your destination into the mobile app, and bike will guide you with a built-in turn-by-turn navigation using LEDs on the handlebar. Right now, it's telling you to turn left. When it's time to turn right, the same LEDs will guide you through the city. And this is the LED for U-turn. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's great that the map and the routing engines can suggest us routes through the city. But we know our city better than any Google Maps on this earth. So, we let you make custom routes and share that with the community. We take all the data and plug it back into our routing engine so we can suggest you safer, smarter routes in the city. So let's go ahead and create a custom route right now. Let's log in to the Van Hawks application backend. OK. And this is our backend web portal, which actually allows you to build your custom routes. You're greeted with the beautiful map screen, and you can see on the upper left-hand corner you have your profile, routes, and activity. We're going to go in the profile. In the upper left-hand corner, you see I have named my bike Bad Bike, and all my stats live in the screen. So let's go ahead and create a route right now. You see all my routes that I've created also live right below it. Let's start a route from Van Hawk's headquarters at 164 Princess Street in Toronto. And since everybody wants to go to Mars, let's go to Mars. OK, so we have a route which is suggested by the engine, but I really don't like this route. I like to go through Ryerson University. I think it's a little bit safer route for me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change that. It takes a little bit longer, but I personally think it's safer for me to go through that route. So I like this route. Let's go ahead and save this route. We're going to name it Route to Mars. It's saved. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log out from the web portal. And now this is automatically uploaded onto the mobile app. You don't have to do anything. We do the magic for you. Uh, let's go ahead and log in to our mobile app um, on the iPhone. Um, that's the map. Let's click on Vert 2. And the custom tab, you can see Route to Mars. Let's click on that. So that's the route we just created. Let's use it. And that's how easy it is to go to Mars using your Valor. Now, Valor is also equipped with blind spot sensors. Now, the bike will let you know when there's a car in your blind spot by buzzing the grips of the handlebar. It also connects with other bikes in the community and 16 million Wi-Fi hotspots across the globe to let you know when your bike is stolen. And you can report it right within your app. Finally, Valor also gives you your stats automatically. You don't have to press any start or stop button. It just takes your data and gives it to you how you've been doing. So you're encouraged to ride more. A picture is worth a thousand words. So we have put together a small video to show you how amazing is Valor and what are these features. So let's go ahead and have a look at that.
We think it's a great start towards helping commuters take on alternative modes of transportation. And if you have never been on a bike before, that's okay. You don't need spandex to get on one. <laughs> Eventually, we plan on doing things to integrate with technologies that already exist. So instead of giving you an alternative route on a bicycle, we can tell you that the weather is not good and it's about to rain, so here is an alternative route towards the nearest TTC or GO bus station. So you can go ahead and go to that for your ride. Population is urbanizing. Transportation is changing. Cars are the agents of freedom. But to drive one, and worse, to park one in a city, is tantamount to punishment. <laughs> so, to cope up with ever-increasing population, we need alternative modes of transport to help our city, my city, the beautiful Toronto, to be at the forefront of innovation in transportation. So let's fall forward today and let everyone know that cars are not the only way to get around in a city. We placed big bet on them in 1950s. It's time we place a new bet on a new way to travel in an urban center. And it's starting right here in Toronto with a device we call the Valor. Thank you. <laughs>